Hi both, welcome to today's session. Today would be our first session related to BWR app. So as you are aware, you guys uh, <coughs> decided to learn BWR app because uh, nowadays in the market uh, people ex expect more from uh, a BW consultant or BA consultant because uh, they don't want to have independent ABAP app uh, consultant. Ultimately, even with as the experience increases, obviously we also have to contribute more to the project and we have to show this technically we are more worth than having only BW thing in us, right? So, so as part of this course, we will be seeing all the necessary things for you to become BW ABAP consultant instead of being just a BW consultant. So, end of the course, obviously you will be in a position to handle any kind of BW ABAP requirement independently and uh, the entire course as i said earlier will be split into three different uh, sections initial few classes will be seeing the fundamentals of ABAP followed by the bw related ABAP requirement in your source system such as ecc srm crm then we will move on to seeing bw related ABAP requirement in your uh, uh, the bw system such as routines followed by a big spot okay let us start today's session so if you take any uh, before we proceed with the data types we will see the features of ABAP program and ABAP editor okay so this is my blog which I have written very long back like so every programming language will have its own uh, uh, features right features so let us see the features features remain same so following are some of the features of our programming like uh, before you learn the C programming obviously you need to know what exactly high level C programming was doing and all right so same thing we'll be doing over here also so the syntax of ABAP is similar to COBOL I mean to say when SAP started implementing this fourth generation programming language that too in early uh, the syntax was similar to COBOL okay like they preferred most of the syntax from existing COBOL language the next statement is ABAP statement is case insensitive statements and keywords mean to say whether you write a code in uppercase or lowercase it doesn't matter just a single click of a button you can convert everything into either uppercase or everything into lowercase okay and the next point is custom ABAP program has to start with YRZ and can be up to 30 character in length or it can be depends on the object and the length vary like our BW object like info object DSO and multi provider custom ABAP objects has to start with YRZ okay. and ABAP is case sensitive during comparison here if you see we are saying case sensitive during comparison whereas here we are saying above statement so ABAP is case sensitive during comparison which means if you are trying to compare a value stored in a variable with a value stored in another variable or a um, hard coded value that time if you are checking your uppercase us01 and lowercase us01 you are comparing these two these are different because uppercase if you try to compare uppercase value with the uppercase, it will be true. Otherwise, it will be not be true. Clear? Okay. So, every statement and expression must end with full stop or period. Similar to your uh, C programming, if at all you guys are from technical background, in C program, every statement has to end with semicolon. Or even in Java also, it has to end with semicolon. So that the compiler will conclude that okay this is the end of current expression anything starts after semicolon will be next expression you got it mm -hmm. like that okay. here it is full stop token within a statement must be separated by at least one space means whenever you write a code obviously we cannot write everything without giving any space right select single star or select star or data declaration at least between each and every word there has to at least one space or more than one space also Okay, at least we should keep one space. Any doubt so far? Uh, no. no, 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 no. Great. No. So, coming to the features of ABAP editor, you can use all the shortcuts of ABAP editor is similar to Notepad. Okay, 
like all the shortcuts which you are using in notepad or wordpad you can use it control c for copy control v for paste control x for cut and control s for saving the app uh, program in an editor and you can also use all the button hello hello, hello? hello? yes any doubts no right okay so no. you can use uh, uh, all the buttons which was there in your rs7 uh, screen right uh, in the application toolbar pencil mm -hmm. symbol to display between change mode uh, toggle between display mode or change mode or uh, you can also use the syntax check button or you can use control plus f2 to activate an app object you can use control plus f3 and there is something called comments in every programming language these are like skipped by the compiler but it will just give additional information to the viewer who is using the code you can use also the shortcuts control plus less than symbol or control plus greater than symbol clear mm -hmm. okay these are the features of a web program and a web editor hopefully there is no doubt in that and at any point of time if you guys have a doubt feel free to stop me okay so ultimately you guys have to the session will be more interactive and uh, don't hesitate to ask a question and uh, end of the day anything we are going to discuss you should have complete clarity okay uh -huh. so coming to the data types in any programming language uh, what is the data type data type is something like uh, uh, you are going to define what particular column or that particular field will store what kind of data you define for example if it is okay pass other card database your other card number is 12 character which is a number not a character correct and name it can be alphanumeric and uh, your phone number can be numeric followed by few special characters are allowed and uh, pin code also it is numeric right so just to store or ma manage the data properly you can define a data of a database type correct this is there in every database not only in sap it is there in mysql db2 everywhere correct so the data types will define what kind of data a particular variable can store so that the compiler or the system itself can manage its memory properly correct mm -hmm. so now in uh, SAP uh, ECC, it is similar to our BW. It also have primitive types like string, integer, character, dates, time. Time is again derived attribute of character, right? So uh, we these are the primitive types. We will see other derived types also. So let us try to create a very simple ABAP program and understand how exactly we can create then. Followed by, we'll start adding uh, and uh, discussing many more logics. Okay. You can practice this in ECC or BW anywhere because all these are basics. And even the advanced concept also you can uh, practice any in any system only that you have to refer the different tables in ECC you will have application tables whereas in BW you can make use of your uh, P table or active table of a DSO or ADSO. Okay? So SC38 is a transaction code wherein we will use this for ABAP editor like how we spend our time in RSA1 as a BW consultant. Likewise, even uh, ABAP consultant will spend most of their time in SC38 or SC80, okay? So, enter the program name. As we discussed, it has to start with Y or Z and enter the program name. Click on Create. Since it is our very first program, let us see each and every option in detail next onwards so when you enter the program name and click on create the title and program types are mandatory field okay so title if you see you can enter anything and program type is mandatory as i said see here when you click on drop down you will see different types of program most of the things are out of scope and used by PA ABAP or HR ABAP 
only thing is like as part of our course we'll be seeing executable program include and uh, function group okay rest of the things are not at all necessary for us and mostly even core ABAP for people also will not use that core ABAP they will use the model pool and maybe subroutine protein pool that's it not more than that so executable why we are using executable program currently because these programs are independently can be executed okay and there is no dependency on any other object whereas if you go with include program which you'll be seeing in upcoming classes it has to be associated with executable program okay. okay for our learning purpose executable program is the best and if you ask me as a bw ABAP consultant will you be creating that in a very rare case assume that you are going to create a program to trigger process chain on a particular time and you wanted to schedule that program then only you will be will never be creating executable program mostly okay this is for learning purpose we are using this only these two are mandatory rest of things are optional but since it is very first we will see each and everything status you can choose any of these so we were just discussing on how to create a very simple ABAP program all you have to do is come to SC38 and enter the program name and click on create here program title and type are mandatory my first part. and uh, under types we will be choosing executable program and setting any of the property does not impact the functionality okay so here we will use status status will just give whether your program is test program or SAP standard program or system program or custom program okay so this is just like a metadata uh, which will give more information when somebody comes and see your program attribute okay so you can choose test program or else if at all you are going to move the changes to production you can also choose custom production program also okay you can use one of that not an issue but setting this property does not impact but you set the status accordingly so that it will be easy during the upgrade if at all you wanted to get a list of program which is marked as a test program you can get the list from the basis and you can validate which one is needed which one is not needed so that basis team can go ahead and cleanse the system okay it's just for managing and application choose your respective sap model you can choose accounting you can choose hr you can also choose business information warehouse generally when core ABAP people will implement their alv reports right they will be using this and authorization group if at all there is any authorization group uh, set by the security team which you have to reuse you just have to choose from the s4 and logical database which will be used by your hr ABAP consultants okay uh, uh, they will have different way of coding than what we will be learning or even what core abapper will be doing uh, they will have some concept called logical database they will be entering logical database here coming to selection screen if at all like our bex report right uh, we can have a selection screen and we can uh, choose default uh, variant right like that uh, if at all we have selection screen ABAP ALV report which core ABAPR will be doing automatically the screen number will be generated okay and coming to this four checkbox you see fixer point arithmetic and unicode check is active so what does it mean fixed point arithmetic means it will add all the necessary libraries or APIs or functions for the performing arithmetic operation so uh, most of you guys might be seen or in your project uh, wherein clients are not using latest system you might have seen SAP R3 4.6C correct which is a earlier Hello? version of ECC 6.0 so if you see over here fixed point arithmetic uh, which we have enabled right now and uh, it is not enabled it was selected by default and also Unicode check active so I was just uh, asking you guys uh, that um, you might have seen SAP 4.6 C correct and uh, earlier SAP was not supporting translation maybe we all started using uh, the smartphone maybe last uh, a few years back right maybe five to seven years back because people started right. using smartphone and when you started using smartphone obviously you can see people 
were uh, getting messages in whatsapp and even whatsapp i also getting evolved and you are getting messages or when you visit any website you are able to see character in box box if it's a regional website it was not able to show properly the text or render the text so why because your phone was not unicode compatible or else maybe the data set was not installed which means earlier we all were using ansi standards ansi c standards which was having supporting only limited data sets like starting from upper case a to z lower case a to z 0 to 9 and <coughs> few special characters correct whereas post that as the digital era evolved each and every programming language in uh, sorry each and every language which is having its own script can be represented digitally to represent any character digitally obviously it should have its own uh, value associated with it right so that is called unicode sap also started supporting unicode after ecc 7.6.0 or your bw 7.x version and technical upgrade from older version to newer version is major technical upgrade in sap history because every single program uh, because system is unicode compatible and as part of their uc check step of the technical upgrade like they will have sp au sp dd and uc check right they have to upgrade they have to come to each and every program and enable this checkbox without enabling manually enable there is no program at all even if they have 10000 program they were coming and manually enabling that's the reason you have explicit checkbox and even this also during previous upgrade they might have given the checkbox why because they have added a functionality so that for the existing program they have to come and check it you see here even unicode check also explicit checkbox they would have removed and by default they would have added also right but this checkbox they have explicitly added why there were old systems and they have to migrate while migrating they have to come and enable this checkbox that's the reason okay but if you remove this checkbox and try to activate it will throw an error that is the history of unicode nowadays sap supports every pro every language like japanese chinese german and all so that is because of translation okay and coming to editor check editor lock it is recommended not to check this checkbox if you check the checkbox nobody else apart from current system user can edit the program okay assume that you have been offboarded from the project or you went on leave so there will be a difficulty in another developers to go and change but still they can go and change by removing the checkbox in change mode or changing uh, removing this at a table level but it is recommended not to check the uh, checkbox start using variant it is like your um, any other variant in your bex so if at all you have saved any default value it will automatically take using default variant okay so click on save that's it uh, with respect to the screen and you can give any package you want the actual package or else you can save as a local object so with this we were able to create a very simple uh, program in a app but if you see by default as soon as we came here it is showing report followed by report name so since we chose executable program we are unknowingly creating an a classical reports okay which is created by core ab efforts for their uh, normal ab app reporting so now as a very simple thing every programmer will learn uh, how to print the data right as a first program in c programming you have print statement in java you have system dot out dot ln statement correct whereas in ab app you have write command okay write so and also you see i am going to put full stop at the end full stop is mandatory here even here also full stop is mandatory check the syntax activate it okay so now you can execute the program by clicking on f8 or this button so it's print welcome to sap bi ab app clear so we successfully learned very simple ab program we using write command we are going to print the value to the user any doubt in this guys no, no. so 
and if you remove the full stop and check the syntax see it says at line number three the last statement is incomplete the period is missing mostly in ABAP you will get mostly understandable errors only and it will also pointing to near line or else exact line more than 99% or else either the next line or the previous line for some kind of special errors okay so you can easily rectify also so now we seen how to declare or how to print a hard coded value now let us declare how to let us see how to declare a variable what is a variable variable is something which will hold data right like what we saw about our other database so assume that i wanted to declare a variable which is of type string mean to say my variable is going to hold string type of data if i am going to declare a variable which is of type integer it is going to hold numbers or integers of uh, integer data i cannot pass to the integer string correct similarly character you can pass alphanumeric date will hold the date so let us see how to declare a variable the syntax so data is the keyword is used to declare any kind of variable or work area or internal table which we will be seeing in next session i am going to declare a variable which is whose name is variable name is lv message whose type is string okay the variable is of type string clear now check the syntax and uh, this is fine now what i will do lv underscore message is equal to i am going to initialize that variable with this value okay and now what i will be doing lv underscore message clear no syntax error forms activate and run the program so again it is giving the same output but only thing what we did is we just learned how to declare a variable and how to initialize a variable with a value and we can also use write command to print the value stored in a variable so why are we following this approach to learn our fundamentals because see when you have to implement a logic and test that logic uh, assume that you wanted to implement that in your function module based extractor or in your routine if at all you are going to wait uh, to implement the logic there uh, what you have to have you have most of the dependencies such as you should have source data source uh, data uh, source info provider target info provider you have to do the mapping then you have to go to the routine and you will implement the logic but for the testing you need to have the data whereas here right if you have some logic in mind our business has given some logic and uh, you wanted to test that you can just implement this uh, sc38 test programs and check uh, implement the logic and use the right command to print the output of the final value so that you can ensure whatever you are going to implement uh, is be there or uh, it is going to work as expected correct you can pass some test value and implement the logic and see the output only thing is like you can copy the logic and paste it either in your generic extractor or in your uh, function module uh, sorry the routines clear any doubt in this example guys no no great no. so and also initially for first few sessions do not copy paste any code always not for initial um, first few session uh, maybe for uh, during the course period or post that also for couple of months start writing a code from the scratch even you don't copy paste data declaration also okay why because if we copy paste the code we cannot register that uh, keystrokes and also the syntaxes to our subconscious even if it's a simple thing try to type it in your bare end so that um, you will have that uh, thing uh, stored in your uh, mind okay so let us see how to see uh, another example or uh, we will see arithmetic operators okay arithmetic operators are used to perform arithmetic operations such as addition subtraction multiplication division or finding out a remainder so why we are seeing this because in your transformation or your routine or generic extractor you may have to calculate some product you may have to subtract few things or find out the division result or find out the remainder so let us see how to do that plus minus star followed by forward slash and mod is used to achieve the required result okay those are called arithmetic operator which is mostly common which is similar to your calculator symbols and syntax is result variable is equal to variable 1 operator variable 2 you can use multiple variables also okay 
So left hand side is equal to right hand side. It is like our high school maths. Whatever happens in the right hand side will get assigned to the left hand side once that statement get executed. Okay. So in this case we have a variable called LV result whose value will be calculated which is nothing but product of content of variable 1 and variable 2. Clear? So like that instead of star you can use any other operator. Let us go back to the system. Data LV num1 type i data lv num2 type i data i am declaring two variable to store my data like input data so based on that i am going to calculate sum type i data lv prod type i data lv prod type i sorry sum prod it would be division the last one is the remainder okay so now let us initialize the values num1 is equal to 104 lv num2 is equal to 50 any numbers great so now let us try to calculate sum somehow we will do lv num1 mm -hmm. plus lv num2 okay Content of num1 and num2 will be summed and resultant of that sum operation will be stored to LV sum variable here. <coughs> Again, we are using write command just to see the output. But in our BW, this write command is not allowed in your generic extractor based on function module or routine. This is allowed only in the SC38 programs and we are just using to see whether my logic is working as expected. Okay. And you remember every place I have to put the full stop at the end of every expression. So you see the output is sum is 154, it is printing, which means the sum of 104 and 50 is 154. Similarly, you can do the next uh, additional calculation like prod. And uh, you can find out the division. You can also find out the remainder product is star and to find out the, what this will do it will divide number one by number two and it will show how many times that will divide number two will divide number one and remainder to find out the remainder of division operation means when I divide number one by number two and what would be the remainder for to store that I will use mod operator okay we'll see how it behaves the output division and check the syntax and initial few sessions what you guys do right are your initial few days of your writing a code after writing up two three lines of code you ch keep checking the syntax because there might be some typo errors or there might be something which you might be missing just to ensure there is no many syntax errors or if there is any you can fix then and there only okay execute and see the output the product of 104 by 50 would be 5200 and division I can divide 104 by 50 2 in whole times means 52 is 100 right and remainder if you see when I divide 104 by 50 it will divide uh, 2 times means in whole 100 and remainder is 4 104 minus 100 is 4 clear this is how you will be using arithmetic operators so main thing is this how to make use of that but in our routine based on the need uh, we multiply <coughs> our carrier content uh, and all but main thing is how to use it and how it will works any doubt in this example we know after data it is not compulsory to use colon uh, the declaration of variable it's a good thing which you asked which i was about to tell in the same example see either you can use data followed by variable name and type the reference type correct so mm. in order to speed up the process you can also declare a variable colon is not mandatory if at all you are defining data 
okay you can also use it here i can use colon you can check the syntax there is no error as such okay why we use colon is if we use colon we can define more than one variable separated by comma okay <laughs> what i have okay. now and what i will be having after colon you, when you go with a colon you can define as the many number of variables separated by comma but for the compiler having it is one and the same okay what will happen when you use colon before data this data keyword will be applicable to everything which is separated by comma data will be applicable to this line also data will be applicable to this line also data will be applicable to this line also data is applicable to this line also which is one and the same as previous version so if you want to save timing by avoiding uh, typing data generally people will use data colon and keep declaring it as many variable either you can go with this or this it's up to you predominantly people will go with this just to save time and uh, avoid uh, seeing data multiple places okay but there is no performance impact or anything for compiler though we are defining like this it will treat this as something like this during the run time De because data will be applicable to everything ultimately you are defining a variable to define a variable every variable declaration has to associate it with data that's what compiler is going to do clear any okay. doubts in this okay purushottam or aparo do you have any doubts no no <coughs> great so now let us move on and see different operator conditional operator and logical operator will be seeing as and when the times comes when we come with a conditional statements but conditional operator are used to see condition checks or perform condition checks like equality check to check uh, whether the value stored in two different variables are equal or not for that you will use equal to symbol or eq uh, you can also use for not equal to check any or not equal to less than followed by greater than symbol or in order to check a number is greater than another number or value stored in a variable is greater than a number you will use gt or greater than symbol similarly for greater than or equal to ge or greater than followed by equal to symbol either you can use this or this both are one and the same okay sap has given two different um, operators you can use each of those less than ltr less than symbol similarly for less than or equal to ler less than or equal to okay these conditional op uh, operators can be used during the conditional check only correct to check something similarly there are something called logical operators in sap those are not and or are this is similar to your logic gates if at all you are from a technical background or nowadays even the high school students has the logic gates and gate or gate not gate it is just to tell the boolean uh, outcomes so what not will do if the condition is true it will make it as look like false or if the condition is false if you put not in front of that it will negate it will become true clear and and means generally how we use and in our general uh, statements or expression that will happen which is and is nothing but uh, for example if my data okay if you are going to join if a candidate is going to join within 20 days and if his package is less than 15 lakhs he is eligible for bonus how assume that you wanted to write a logic to define whether the candidate is eligible for bonus so the condition one is is he going to join within 20 days the condition two is his package is less than 15 lakhs if both the condition are true they are going to award 1 lakh rupees as a joining bonus correct here hand both the condition has to satisfy then only we will use and operator okay similarly or operator okay so either uh, whenever you have two condition to be checked but you wanted to execute the business logic when one of these condition are true or both the condition are true then we will be using or operator clear so when we go with these statements we will see how to make use of and or and all okay any doubts in this uh, uh operators so far no <coughs> no no so now we will start taking your bw scenarios to learn our fundamentals such as converting a string into uppercase or lowercase 
for example in your transformation you have an info object that's an existing transformation and you are getting data from very long time it's a flow which is live in production but uh, uh, the, uh, so far for a particular column for example descriptions or message you are getting values in upper case and your info object is not lower case enabled so since the data was coming in upper case it was good now maybe the new plant uh, sap might have rolled out now the user was not uh, educated enough that they have to enter the values in upper case they started entering lower case value in the transactional data and when data comes and uh, start posting into your dso or ads so it will start throwing an error saying like the info object is not lower case enabled uh, because of that sit generation or whatever it is so data loads are failing and now you are getting thousands of records not one if it is one means you will convert at psl level now you go back to business and saying like this said uh, ideally this field has to be upper case so can you change it to upper case obviously business will say i cannot do that it is already posted transaction and it is thousands not in one or two so we will uh, initiate uh, give a fund for any change request or uh, the change you go ahead and handle this programmatically because that's uh, where they have sap technical team or uh, it team right uh, this can be achieved either in source system or target system but again source system they say like lot of restriction how can we manage this in target so either we have to enable that uh, info object lower case checkbox but if that info object is used at multiple places there might be a chances of it impact that changes of changing the checkbox what is the other alternative we can implement a routine okay so we'll see how to achieve this requirement <clears throat> and uh, uh, we know uh, is there any uh, like a concatenate also op operator uh, you will uh, we'll see that okay we have okay. concatenate split and many other commonly used operators okay okay So for a couple of more example, we'll take the BW scenarios, which you are aware of a BW consultant uh, to learn the ABAP, okay? The, you can easily correlate the scenarios because you have already told those scenarios to your uh, the ABAP counterpart. Now you will be implementing that logic. So let us create a program three and click on create. Executable program, click on save. So declare a variable LV underscore message type string LV underscore message is equal to in Gopal and you are getting value something like this. Let us print a value raw data LV underscore message. Yes. So we are just declared a variable and we initialize this value to that variable and we are just printing. So because of this value coming in mixed case, it was throwing an error. Now we have to convert the value of this variable to uppercase. All we have to do is there's a keyword called translate keyword given by SAP. We just have to use that most of these commands right it is similar to what uh, generally when you try to speak uh, uh, and use that uh, the unique keyword right the sap has taken that generally we say like uh, translate the value coming in this variable to uppercase or convert this into uppercase right they have taken translate so translate what you want to translate i want to translate value stored in a variable lv underscore message to uppercase okay very simple. This we can use in uh, ABAP, uh, sir, BW side routine also? Or it, yes, uh, yes. <coughs> That's why we are uh, learning. Anything I am teaching, which uh, it is valid in BW system, <coughs> system any system. Okay. okay. So, see the output. The raw data was in mixed case. I used translate command. Upon translating, my value is in upper case. Clear? When you go to Japan, in upper case. Got it? So, yeah, uh, for BW, we will be just using this. We won't be using all this logic. Okay? The main thing which you will be using this in your field level routine. Only one line of statement. 
because when you know, get a field level routine yeah yeah go ahead please yeah when you know, there are two things one is this translate in routine and talking about bw perspective where you can write a field routine but the other thing is you have already have a formula where it converts into upper case so both yes, are same either you can go with that or with this because there are projects wherein they will clearly tell you should not use the formula or are there are some project they say like you should not use dtp level filter you have to implement the logic in start routine either you can if the formula is there you can use it not an issue it will give the same result correct assume that you are implementing a very complex logic and in that process you also wanted to do that and there are okay. cases where you are implementing a logic in expert routine in case of expert routine you cannot use the formulas correct nothing can be done mm. even one on one mapping cannot be done so in that case yeah. this statement will come handy got it okay okay and see uh, ultimately uh, when we start discussing the routine also we'll see uh, you need to have a minimal places where you will manage the things correct if you have start routine if you have formula if you have implemented some field level routine and if you have end routine it is difficult to manage also right you have to see what logic they have written in start routine what logic they have written in end routine what is the formula which they have implemented at uh, the transformation either through sap's defined formula in the transformation level or field level routine all these things will be there it is better to manage things at one place and there are cases where we cannot uh, use existing formula such as in expert routines and all because expert routine even one on one mapping has to be handled via bwa app or is see ultimately assume that you are going to implement a generic extractor based on function module the you wanted to handle this translate into upper case at the data source level only in that case we can use this right mm -hmm. ultimately if you know how to use it is not necessary that mandatorily you have to use wherever you get an opportunity you can use it mm -hmm. clear okay even in same case it will be lower case also right if you want to do lower case yes. directly if you want to, to translate do the lower to... case you can do that even using formulas or else in sap okay. there is an additional uh, optional syntax in translate at the end instead of two upper you can use two lower it will convert into lower case mm -hmm. see mixed case upper case and lower case lower case you may ask why we will use when we will use assume that you have a first name and middle name and last name coming in three different fields or separate field you wanted to generate an email id in a transformation because their format is unique already defined the business rule the email id will be in the format of first name underscore last name at the rate the company.com so you just wanted to generate as a calculated column in one of the transformation you can do so correct concatenate first name mm -hmm. underscore last name uh, at the rate uh, your company.com into your target variable and they wanted generally the email id will be in a lower case they want you to convert into lower case if at all value is coming in mixed case or upper case also okay mm -hmm. ultimately mm -hmm. it is not that we will be using only one command there might be a need for you to use more than one command also to achieve a desired result okay mm -hmm. any doubts in this so far no no okay great so now let us see one more thing over here only you might have also seen data something like this also in your projects right there might be some extra spaces in between uh. so how to remove that so they don't want to see extra spaces they wanted to have at least keep only one space and remove all other spaces because maybe due to some technical reason the incoming data from source is uh, having extra spaces in between okay or it is not uh, properly readable in your bex report so ultimately how can we do this so there is a command given by sap which is called condense condense yes you guys are right condense condense what you want to condense i wanted to condense value stored in this variable that's it and how to read the command also you should learn when i explaining to you see i wanted to condense and what you want to condense i wanted to condense value stored in this variable you are telling to the compiler condense value stored in this variable so condense is present after what after printing raw data so now you can see 
the ray data was something like this and I am removing more than one space that is being achieved using condense operator. Clear? Any doubts in this? Yeah, yeah. And so if you want to take the other, for example, if the LV underscore message is there, if we do, if we have some other message, then <coughs> it won't consider that. Only the uh, variable which you are giving, only it will consider that. Yes, but, because in your but, case, field level routine, you will have a visibility to only one field of your uh, variable, correct? Correct. If yeah. you have one more variable wherein you wanted to handle, you have to write one more condensed statement on that variable. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But and assume that there are cases where you don't want any space at all. Assume that there was a key value coming by mistake uh, uh, due to data error or whatever uh, the migration. Uh, you don't want to keep even uh, between Venugopal and M and uh, between M and and Anjapa. You don't want any sp uh, space also. You can do that with at the end there is an additional syntax called no gaps. Okay. So if you see the output, there is no gap. All the spaces has been removed. Understood. Yeah, we know how. Uh, yeah, we know how this system will come to know. Uh, you have to put only one space between Venu, Venu Gopal, and M. That is the syntax of this. What is that? The contents. Contents. Uh, importance or the functionality is if there is more than one space it will retain with one space by removing the consecutive spaces that's what this condensed statement will do it's a syntax so wherever okay. you use condensed that is the operation which is going to perform it is defined at the system level it's just a uh, statements we will be reusing like for example write write is the statement which is given by SAP to us it is not user defined function correct so it has a standard operation that is going to print the value. Similarly, translate is going to translate value in this variable and it will translate either to uppercase or lowercase based on what you are specifying over here. Like that contents also, it has its own functionality. The contents, what is its primary operation? If there is more than one consecutive spaces, it will delete and retain and keep only one space. Clear? Okay. And Suppose there is a scenario. Go ahead, go ahead, please. Okay. Suppose there is a scenario where we require two spaces. Matlab, it is huge, no, but is not condensed. We... Okay. That is possible. It is not that it is not at all possible. Using condensed, it is not possible. Using condensed, you can only keep only one space. Then you have to go and use split operator to split that, uh, the first name and last name because there is only one space now. Then you have to concatenate and introduce one more extra space. Okay. So, see, for everything, SAP cannot give a ready-made thing because there can be infinite number of iteration or business requirement, correct? But what SAP can uh -huh. give or any programming language can give us is a primitive uh, step which you can make use in combination with another syntaxes to achieve the desired result. See, now mm -hmm. also what we did, we made use of condense and translate. Assume that our data was coming like this. I wanted to convert this into uppercase. At the same time, I wanted to remove consecutive space. In that case, I had to use both of these syntaxes, correct? Mm. Okay. So that's how you have to learn the primitive steps once you learn that even after learning our fundamentals we won't be learning anything new we'll be just reusing that syntaxes and mixing and matching to achieve our generic extractor logic right or even your routine mm -hmm. logic ultimately we'll be using mixing and matching the logic which we have learned if statement case statement loop logic many other things clear any other doubts guys no, not as of now. Great. So that's all for today. In the next session, we will see a couple of more examples with respect to BWF app, uh, like uh, concatenation statement, uh, offset operation, your split operation, and a couple of more examples. Then we will jump into a concept called internal tables and work area, which is very, very important because your entire SAP data stored in the database table, and you have to process the data during the runtime. To process the data during runtime, obviously we have to go for internal tables and work area. So you'll be seeing that concept in detail. 
that's all for today thank you so much guys for today's session have a good one hi everyone if you are looking for sap online training on following modules such as sap bw sap bw app sap bw on hana sap hana modeling and sap hana sql feel free to contact me i have trained more than 80 plus uh, working professionals who are in uh, sap domain or non sap domain who just wanted to upskill their uh, skill set uh, to the area like bw bw app bw on hana hana modeling and hana sql so the training will be predominantly one on one only the candidate and myself will be there and individual attention will be given we will be covering a uh, real time uh, scenarios uh, which will be appearing in the project the motto is not uh, just to complete the training motto is to make sure that by the end of the training the candidate has uh, enough knowledge and feel confident uh, to work on a specific topic uh, in uh, sap feel free to reach out to me on my mail id that is venugopalmen1988 at the rate gmail.com also you can call me on my mobile number that is plus 91 followed by 9739983992 thank you so much and have a good one